England were cleared of any wrongdoing by the match officials after TV pictures were used to suggest that there could have been a whiff of ball tampering at the MCG. Cameras zoomed in on James Anderson cleaning the ball and appearing to use his thumb around the quarter seam of the shiny side of the ball. But England coach Trevor Bayliss was reassured that there was no issue with what his team had been doing with the ball and described the whole issue as a beat-up story. It's a beat-up, said Bayliss. As soon as I saw the headlines, I raced into the umpire's room and that was their words. It's a beat-up, nothing to worry about, absolutely fine, so that's as much as I know. I haven't heard what they said on TV but they were players once too. You're allowed to clean the ball, Kuma. Umpire Kuma Damisner, had said to our guys, well both sides, that there is no problem but he would like them to do it in front of the umpires so they can see there is nothing untoward. Watching the footage, if he was scratching it, it was the wrong side to get it to reverse. I'm quite sure that wasn't the case. The aim of England's bowlers and fielders was to get the ball to reverse swing as soon as possible because the new ball did not move an inch off the straight. To do this they would throw the ball into the rough ends of the pitch to try and scuff up one side while keeping the other smooth. The umpires were keeping a beady eye on how much they did this and asked them to keep the ball up of the ground as much as possible, just like they had asked the Aussies to. I know at different times they have tried to stamp it out, especially in the white ball games, added Bayliss. But what do you do about a guy with a bad shoulder who can't throw it back on the full? Or if you are going for a run out? You're not necessarily trying to throw it on the full every time. That's how it can be done. Once the ball gets a few marks on it you hope it starts to reverse. It doesn't go all the time, who knows exactly why, but every team in the world does it so it's hard to stamp out. Bayless added, we've had a good couple of days and there hasn't been a lot of positive pressure from their point of view so there's been a bit of pommy bashing there. We're used to that I suppose. We knew when we came here it was going to be 24 million versus 11, we've just got to laugh it off as part of the game. You've got to put up with it. Australia are still 61 runs in arrears after closing a range-shortened day on 103 for two although their two key batsmen David Warner, 40 not out, and captain Steve Smith, 25 no, are still at the crease. The hosts collapsed from 260 for 3 to 327 all out in their first innings. So Bayless remains positive England can seal a consolation win in a series in which they are trailing 3-0.